Now, let's get back to that massive backup on I-95 that turned into a national story. It was so big. The very thought of being stuck in that scenario alone should send shivers down your spine. When it sends shivers down your wallet, just imagine being stranded on that highway for hours in the cold in an Uber. NBC4's Pat Collins spoke with a passenger who wrote it all out with the meter running. I don't want to bog this story down with a bunch of numbers, but you should know the distance from San Francisco to Dulles Airport is about 2,805 miles, a flight four and a half hours, the cost about $300. The distance from Dulles Airport to Richmond, Virginia, 127 miles. An Uber ride took 14 hours, for which one man was billed seven hundred and one dollars and forty seven cents it ticked me off because i had no way of knowing that you know i would be stuck in this traffic jam for that long and i don't feel like I, that's fair because they they have the directions i had no say in you know which way the uber goes By now, you've probably figured out that Andrew was one of the scores of people trapped in that historic, icy, nightmare traffic log jam on I-95. Kind of being in like a, in, you know, some weird parking lot. Andrew was returning from a trip to San Francisco when he decided to Uber back to his home in Richmond. We hopped on the first exit, and then it was just, we stopped moving right there. That, and then there was just cars behind us, and there was nowhere to go. Start to finish, Andrew spent 14 hours in that Uber car. Most of that in that tie-up on I-95. People were walking around uh, a lot, which is crazy. I was like, I don't want to go too far out in there in case, you know, st traffic starts moving again. Now back to some more numbers. The Uber bill for a standard ride from Dulles to Richmond, $200. Andrew felt bad for the driver, so he gave him a $100 tip. But then he says Uber added a $400 surcharge, which his bank refused to pay. I think I know what Andrew's New Year's resolution's going to be. Don't take Uber <laughs> in the snow. I'm Pat Collins, News for Washington. Uh, 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 Can you believe that? That is just wrong on so <laughs> many levels. On every so level. So many levels. <laughs> no, we, we did reach out to Uber folks, and they tell us Peters has been refunded, so we don't have to feel bad for him. <laughs> Uber also says it appreciates uh, Peters' patience and is glad that he and his driver got home safely.